Hi everyone, it's Sam Atkinson from corejavainterviewquestions.com here. Just wanting to run through a really simple interview question which gets brought up often, which is reversing a sentence. So if I give you a full sentence like core Java interview questions, and I ask you to implement a function that will reverse that to be questions interview Java core. Uh, it sounds pretty simple, but there's a few gotchas and it gets brought up so often, so I just thought I'd quickly uh, run it up. So I've created here a class called string reverser. So let's start by creating a test. Um, okay, so we're going to call this reverses a sentence because uh, that's the functionality that we want it to do. So if I create a new string reverser, and then I want to do string reverser dot reverse, and then pass it a sentence. So call Java interview questions. Um, and then let's just create this new method. I'm going to return a string from that. And that's the string to reverse. Cool, and I can return all for now, that's absolutely fine. We want to get a value back from that. And then we want to assert that reverse is questions interview Java call. So hopefully the requirement's quite clear from that now. You know, we're, we're just, we're not swapping any letters around or anything like that. It's purely swapping the words around. Um, so let's try and put an implementation to make this test pass. So if we just run it first, just to prove that it doesn't work. Browsing, there we go, cool. So we've got null, which is what we expected. So what we want to do here is, first of all, you have the sentence we need to break it up into the individual words. Now, Java has a nice easy method for this, which is uh, split. So you can split the string based on anything. So we could split it on space, which will give us the individual words. Now, a lot of people don't realize that this exists as a method. And so it's a really good way of weaning out people who don't quite know the, the core methods of the library. It doesn't really matter if they don't, but it's just, you know, if, if this is something you're big on, then that's fine. But it's something that as a candidate, you want to make sure you just you know bone up on these sort of things before you go into the interview. So we now have the individual words by themselves. And what we want to do is iterate through that list, but we want to do it backwards. So if we have those four words, we want to take the fourth word first and then create a new string with that and then add the words on. So if we iterate through that, now instead of starting at zero, what we actually want to do is start at, at the end, as we said. So if I change that to split dot length, then we want to make sure that i is greater than zero, because we're going down. And then you want to do i minus minus. So in here, i in our first iteration will be four. Now because arrays are obviously zero index, you need to remember to put minus one here. That's just a little bit of a gotcha. Um, let's name this to better something S. So let's say just current string or current word, that'll probably be better. And then what do we want to do with this? We want to append that to another thing. So what we could do is have like a result string uh, like this and then simply append it uh, like that. Now, if you did this, you that's actually technically the wrong answer. So although you will get the correct solution in terms of functionality, in terms of uh, speed, it's terrible. So it's fine for something like four words, but anyone could in theory throw an entire book at this. Now, string is really, really slow. If you instead use string builder, you'll find that it's, you know, to I've seen numbers from 600 to 73,000 times faster. Um, I've actually got an example of this on the blog. So if you run over to the article, which is linked underneath the video, you can see uh, how it worked for me. So we're not gonna use a string. We are instead going to use a string builder. Right, so if we create a new string builder, cool. Then instead of doing plus equals, what we want to do is result dot append current word. Then in theory, we can just do return result dot uh, to string. Now that may look like oh yeah yeah cool I'm finished, but there's still one thing left. We originally, we cut the string up. We got rid of these spaces, so the resulting thing has no spaces. So right now, if we uh, run this, for example, um, sorry, let me just run that. 
So as you can see, there's no space in the word. So we need to add a space in, which is easy enough because we can just do uh, dot like that, or we can do dot append space uh, to follow the proper string builder syntax. Uh, so that's almost there, but you'll notice yet again that that means that the sentence will have an extra string at the end. So if we run it one last time before we do the final implementation. So you'll see here, there's a little space at the end. So what we need to do is actually not use the toString method, but to use the substring method. And we want to go from the very beginning of the sentence to the full length of the string builder, um, which is called result length and we want to take minus one off that. Um, you may be tempted at this point to think it's minus two but the indexing is always slightly weird with substring. So again before you go into your interview make sure you read up on all these sort of methods. Hopefully any person interviewing you will have the sense to know that it doesn't really matter if you don't know the correct, uh, sorry, the correct functionality off by heart because you can always just uh, look at the documentation but some people are very, very fussy, so it takes five minutes to read up, so make sure you do. So now, just one last time, let's just run this. Cool. There we go. So we now have a word reverser. Um, this is all in the blog, which is linked underneath here, so go and check that out and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this. Thanks.